Okay. So the AOC versus the DCCC. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez is at odds with the DCCC. It's like the Democratic Caucus Convention of Criminals or something. I don't know what it stands for. It's DCCC. Look at that. So. What happened was, Alexandria she refused to pay her dues to the DCCC. And what happened is there are Democratic um, incumbents who are not typically challenged by other Democrats. And those who are members of the DCCC definitely do not challenge incumbents. Well, there are some incumbents that she does not like because she is her own person, so she has the right to do that. And she said, well, I'm not paying the dues. Paying the dues basically is raising money. She said, I'm not paying the dues in, in the past. I've more than paid for, you know, many times over in the future. So anyway, she said, um, I'm not paying them because um, you, there are people that she does not agree with that are incumbents that she is pushing the opposing candidate instead of the incumbent. So they don't allow that. And so she's not paying the dues and she's not going along to get along with the DCCC. She is going for the opposing candidates because she, you know, believes in them more than the incumbent. So, how will this affect her, if at all? Because she's still a freshman. She's not a shoe-in for re-election. I mean, she might be because, you know, New York's pretty liberal, but still. This is, you know, she's making a lot of waves and upsetting a lot of people. And I said this in her readings a long time ago, do not go up there and try to fight by yourself. You know, this is the old white man's club and they will gang up on you. So, let's see. Three of Cups. Time of celebration, joy, contentment. This light is not getting... Joy, celebration, and contentment. Queen of Cups. I don't know what your sign is, but that could be you. Ace of Wands, New Action, and the Devil. Running with the Devil. So, the Fool and the Action. So, there is a bit of uncertainty. You have kind of stepped out on faith with this new action. <laughs> Uh, Knight of Cups. So, yeah. This is the incumbents. These are... Um, not that the incumbents are evil, but that they don't align with your value and your view. You think it's lip service just to get, you know, votes and whatnot. And then the real work is done by others. And so she's in opposition to these two. She has this. They have that. But your new action was not thought out. Well, I won't say this wasn't thought out, but it was not um, something you could foresee. I know you probably didn't do this on a whim, and I'm pretty sure you did some research and whatever, but this can go in a place you weren't expecting. That's what the fool says, is that you start a journey not completely prepared. So in the fear, we have the tower. Yeah, so there is some, some fear that... Um, this will all hit the fan in a very, very, very messy way. Um, yeah, bad news in the environment. I mean, she's already got the news. I mean, she knows that they are in opposition to her already, so that's there. And Nine of Cups, Desire and the Hopes, and then Burden. Hmm. 
that's not good. So, <laughs> the burden, of course, comes from the Knight of Cups at Facade. So you are in a place where going against the, the system. This is what happens to every politician, though. They say, I'm going to go and I'm going to change this, I'm going to change that, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. And then they get there and they have to conform because there's a bigger engine against you than you are against them. And so they can weigh you down. Now, the good thing is, this is not a predictive of saying you're going to lose or anything. This just means they're going to be against you. You're going to have a, a burden. And, I mean, you didn't go into politics because it's easy. You wanted to change things. So, there you go. But, expect the burden. Here it comes. I mean, you really didn't need cards for that. But, I figured, what the hey? 